Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Focus on Greatness podcast. This is my this is my name is I'm Roche. I'm the host of the Focus on Greatness podcast, and today we are on the Transformation Tuesday morning devotion. I am so excited about this conversation this morning, and I ask you to do me a favor. Make sure that you pay attention to what God has to say to you this morning, because I do believe that it's going to be a blessing to you and encourage you to start your day off with Now, I want to ask a question. Have you ever been, I know I've felt like I've been in this position where um, I felt like I wasn't chosen. I felt like, you know, I wasn't the one that was being picked out or I wasn't the one that someone was picking when it came to it might be a team or a group thing or whatever that might be. Sometimes we can all feel this, this type of feeling that we are not the one that's being chosen. But this morning, one of the things that God wanted me to be able to encourage all of us this morning with is this statement right here. I choose you. (laughs) I I know that sounds simple, but this morning he needs you to understand this statement. Again, it says, I choose you. You. So let's look into the scripture this morning and see what he's talking to us about. And then I'll explain this conversation to again to encourage you as you start off in your day. So in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 6, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verses 6, this is what it says It says, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, I think and I want us to know that this morning, I'm not going to be on long. I just want to encourage you short and simple is to know and to understand that God chose you. He chose you. He chose me. Now, I I know sometimes in my mind, one of the things that I think about is why would you choose me? I'm, I I either have some flaws or I might feel like Moses where I feel like, you know, I, I don't have a structured sp- speech. I'm not qualified for the position or I'm not qualified for the relationship or I'm not qualified in whatever position. I, I feel like sometimes we're shocked um, when we get chosen, not only because we feel that we don't have the skill set or feel like we or whatever the reason of why we feel like we cannot do this. But the other reason is, is because we're not used to someone choosing us. And what God did in this moment of our lives is he said, I choose you. Now, I, I love this is that he says, I choose you for a specific thing. Let's read it again so we can see and understand what he's saying. He said, for the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He, he chose you because you were special. And he chose you not only because you were special, but he chose you for himself. How you doing, Shaman? Good to see you this morning. He chose you for himself. He chose you and said, I choose you to be with me. I choose to have relationship with you. I choose you with with the errors. I choose you with your flaws. I choose you with your mistakes. I I choose you with whatever mindset you have. I choose you with the 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 high income, low income, not where you want to be, where you feel like you need to be. I choose you where you are and I choose who you are. That means everything that is about who you are the makeup of what I created you to be. I choose you to be with me. That, that's one major piece. But here's the other thing that he wanted me to tell you this morning. Then I'm going to go and I want you to have a wonderful day. And I'm going to have a wonderful day realizing and understanding that I also choose you to represent me. I choose you to go throughout the day today. Not only understanding and knowing that me and you have a good relationship, I chose you to be in a relationship with me, but I also choose you to represent me. You know, one of the things about uh, being in a relationship, you know, me and my wife, we talk about this every now and again, we'll make this statement and kind of clown a little bit is, is when, you know, I've got to make sure that, my, that I'm, that I'm looking right. I'm looking decent. I'm looking good because at the end of the day, I represent my wife. 
and vice versa. When she leaves out the house, it's the same thing. It, she represents me. We represent each other. Our children, they represent us. So when they leave out the house, they are a representation of, of who we are. So if they go out looking crazy or acting crazy automatically, as, as truly for children, the, the teacher or whoever it is, they automatically connect them to the parent and say, man, this is how this parent is. In the same forum is how God is saying for us on today. I choose you to when you go to work, when you're out with your friends, talking with family, doing what you do, I choose you to represent me. Mm -hmm. I do feel that. But not only do I choose you to represent me, I choose you to start the business. I choose you for that dream. I chose you. I choose you to walk in this. I choose you for that relationship. I choose you for what I want for you. I'm choosing you to walk in that dream. Now, I gave you the dream not so that you can give it to somebody else. No, I gave you the idea not so that you can give it to somebody else for somebody else to do it and somebody else to walk in. No, 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 no. I chose you. I chose you to be able to do this. Why? Because I chose you because you're special to me. You're someone that I care about. And I want all of us to walk in throughout the day realizing somebody chose me because they want relationship with me. I'm special to them enough that they want me to represent them. And I'm special enough that here it is, that they want me to walk in my dream, my calling, my purpose in life on today. I love you all. And again, thank you all for being a part of this morning's Transformation Tuesday morning devotion. Have a blessed day and remember and understand that God said, I choose you. Love you all. Be blessed. Make sure you share this with a friend or a family and I'll talk to y'all later. All right. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.